state lawmakers ended their 60-day session at noon today, handing Governor Martinez a mixed bag of victories and defeats on her ambitious agenda. Stuart Dyson is live at the Capitol with a look at the last flurry of action. Stu. Oh, it was a flurry. You know, uh, a very great man, I think it was Albert Einstein, pointed out that you can't win them all. And now New Mexico's first ever woman governor has learned that firsthand. She won some in this session. She lost some. And then there's always next year. When the hammer came down at the end of the session, three of the governor's key bills lay dead on the floor. No more driver's licenses for illegal immigrants, teacher evaluations, and ending social promotion in the schools. Martinez blaming Senate Majority Leader Michael Sanchez for that last one. Senator Sanchez refused to let the Senate hear this critical bill. Unfortunately, Senator Sanchez chose to play politics with our children's future. Sanchez firing back. When you come into a legislative session saying, this is the only way we're going to do it, I don't think that's the right way to approach the legislature or legislation. Martinez claiming victory for a stronger Katie's law. That's DNA samples from people who get arrested for felonies. And grading schools, A through F, that made it. The governor vowing to keep on fighting for the rest of her education reform bills. We want to fight for uh, making sure that social promotion and teacher evaluation are two laws that are imposed so that we can continue to improve on our education that we deliver to our kids. Many of the departing lawmakers told me, believe it or not, they're actually looking forward to next year. There was a learning on both sides. We learned her style. She learned our history, traditions, methods, culture, whatever. And so between the two, I think in the future we'll have better working accommodation. Well, when the gun smoke clears and they wash the blood off the deck, at the end of it all, there is now a state budget, and it looks like it's going to balance. That is the one absolutely essential job the lawmakers and the governor had to get done. They did get it done. Now it's over. At the Capitol, Stuart Dyson, KOB Eyewitness News 4. All right, thank you, Stu. One thing that died in the final minutes of the session was the pork bill, the capital outlay spending bill for projects back in all the House and Senate districts around the state. A Republican filibuster killed the bill in the final hour. Republicans took the floor in debate and held it by talking nonstop to run out the clock. It was payback for Democrats who wouldn't let the governor's social promotion bill come up for a vote. The pork bill totaled $240 million in severance tax money earmarked for for one-time projects, not recurring expenses in the state's regular operations budget. Also at the Roundhouse today, a bill we've followed that would require mandatory crisis training for New Mexico's law enforcement is on the governor's desk. If Governor Martinez signs the bill into law, it would require 10 hours of crisis intervention training for cadets and an annual refresher course for existing officers. The family of Kenneth Ellis III was pushing for the bill's passage. Ellis is in an Iraq war veteran killed by APD while holding a gun to his head last year. His family says current crisis training isn't enough. And the ball now lies in the governor's court. She said she will sign some bills on her desk and will not allow others to become law. She has 20 days to make her decisions and you can count on KOBI Witness News 4 to bring you the very latest.